to all my pvmers out there you guys ever just been in a non-pvm mood i don't know what it is but lately i've just been in a skilling mood and with leveling up skills comes other requirements and stuff to unlock so i've been a bit all over the place lately first and foremost necromancy looks absolutely incredible soon as i saw it was a new combat style it was over i knew i was going to start investing to play it on release honestly now that i think about it maybe that's why i haven't been in the mood for pvm before i started creating content i didn't really have a main combat style i would invest in all of them as i go i would use different combat styles at different bosses maybe all this range lately has kind of worn me out probably why i'm so excited for necromancy as well as i know i'm finally getting a break from the same combat style i'm used to so anyway i started working on getting some necromancy prep together all i honestly did was look at what some of the bigger content creators are doing especially those that went and play tested the skill and started getting some things ready if you guys got any more info on what i should be looking into for necromancy prep please let me know i'd appreciate that so this is what I got so far as far as necromancy prep. I got just some regular bones, big bones, baby dragon bones, wyvern, dragon bones, dagonoth, air root, hardened dragon bones, dragon kin, dinosaur, frost dragon bones, and reinforced dragon bones. I heard that 1k of each is enough. I actually I have an extra 220 here. I could probably just sell those off. And um, I got an extra 1k of the reinforced dragon bones because I think they're the highest used for whatever it is. It's like some sort of XP gain that the bones are used for. And the reinforced dragon bones are at the highest level. So just in case I need some extra ones for whatever the situation is, I just bought some extra ones. Might end up selling it back. No idea. But... I'm sitting at 2k reinforced dragon bones and 1k for the rest. Full set of subjugation, head, garb, gown, boots, gloves. I got two sets of spider silk and two sets of mystic. 20 algorithm threads, which is also used for some sort of crafting or something like that for necromancy. Two shields, which is the spectacle sh spirit shield, as well as the draconic visage and i have turtling four for the shield perks i have a hundred of each bar from bronze to bane and 100 of each type of wool that is listed on on the necromancy list so i'm not sure if this wool is actually used but i just got a hundred of the standard wool then a hundred of the summer spring fall and winter for perks i'm just keeping it simple i'm doing budget perks i'll invest into the more optimal perks later but for right now i'm doing budget i have precise six for the main hand equilibrium four for my offhand crackling four invigorating four which i heard is going to be really good for necromancy impatient four enhanced devoted four then i have some igneous stones for the zuck cape whenever i get to that point about 50k pure essence I'm going to end up crafting the runes myself because I'm pretty sure all the new necromancy runes are going to be crazy expensive on release. So I'll just do it myself. I also got some abyssal titan pouches as well as some power burst of sorcery. Uh, this is not supposed to be here so I can move that. And then some other prep I did is potions. So I have over 2k salves these were originally i just had them as elder overloads i went ahead and upgraded them to salves i figured this will save me some gp as well as some time as when the update goes out this will automatically be updated to have the necromancy buffs as well instead of having to go and get all the overload sets and the necromancy potion that's being made and all of that stuff so i just made over 2k salves and that's ready it's going to be automatically updated with the necromancy bus i have 868 weapon poison plus 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 i'm just sitting on that just to get ready for pvm or whatever i do i only have 144 adrenaline renewal flask i might make more of these i mean 144 ain't bad but i'm probably gonna burn through that pretty quick so i'll probably stack up on some more of those and in the last double xp weekend i made a whole bunch of bomb bombs i was like you know what i want to get to 115 herb because i'm tired of waiting for pulse core boost and all of that to make my adrenaline renewals so i aimed for 115 herb with the double xp weekend and i have over 4k bomb bombs i was contemplating on selling some of these but i was like what's the point i'm gonna use them no matter what i use bomb bombs everywhere i go so i decided not to and i'm just sitting on over 4k bomb bombs which is pretty nice 
I also started working on rune crafting a bit as I don't know what level will be required for the new runes but I was at 67 rune crafting that's pretty low so I needed to get that up for sure but before I jump into rune crafting I need some relics. I was aiming for pouch protector so I won't have to deal with having to repair my pouches which sounds annoying and nexus mod so I can jump straight into the inner part of the abyss when I'm doing my runs. For Nexus mod, I need to combine one Chaos Star and one Chaotic Gate Stone. So I hit the Infernal Source for the Chaos Star and use the Fixate Charge just to make sure I get it on the first shot. You guys like Archaeology ASMR? Mm, am I making you uncomfortable? Luckily for the pouch protector mod, I already had everything I need for it in my bank. Probably just got it naturally from leveling up Ark. While I was doing this, I also knocked out Sharigan Dragonkin 3 collection, which rewarded me with the Kalandanda relic. I don't know if I said that correctly. This is used to unlock Death Note, which I'll be using to collect some bones that are needed for necromancy. So I've been working on rune crafting. I'm currently at 84 rune crafting. Uh, it started like at 67, I think. I'm actually enjoying rune crafting, which I was not expecting whatsoever. Like at all. I did not think that I was going to enjoy rune crafting at all. I think that officially makes me a, a filthy skiller. But um, ever since I got my rune crafting up, I was like, you know what? Let me unlock the soul altar. So I started doing some prerequisites and stuff I needed for, for Fight Club. Fight Club is the main quest and uh, I was gaining reputation in Menaphos. I was I mostly just did I did some fishing but not for long honestly. I mostly just did the obelisk so every day I would just do the obelisk for about 30 minutes. It didn't take too long to get to tier 9 honestly but got to tier 9 currently doing our man in the north and then after our man in the north I got Fight Club left and I can finally unlock the soul altar. But let me show you guys what I've been doing with the blood altar that for some reason i have enjoyed so i have a preset just in case I, I know this is like the norm when it comes to room crafting but just in case anybody doesn't know the process yet because i do have some newer players and returning players that watch me being that i am a returning player myself and you know this was new to me not so long ago so i know it might be new to somebody else as well so i have keybinds and these are the pouches and i just fill my pouch up so i fill my large pouch first i hit number seven on my mouse then i hit eight which is take beast of burden items so i hit eight on my mouse and that comes out like that then i hit nine zero then i hit comma then i bank again hit one and i'm outie so I fill up on a good amount of pure essence into the wilderness. I ran into one PK or once, but um, honestly, they, they really weren't that good. And I was able to get away, even though I like fumbled all over my keys. So I talked to this guy, teleport. Nexus mod takes me immediately in. And blood altar is over here. I have my wilderness sword key binded, so I don't have to right click it or anything like that. And my power burst my keybind on my wilderness sword then i bladed dive right over here and i just repeat the process one seven eight nine zero comma one and i'm out i don't know why i find this fun i mean well i find it fun because it is fun I thought I hated rune crafting, but it's not that bad. Check this out. Check this out. Boom! After thousands of years. Sold for nearly 747 mil. I also unintentionally hit 120 defense. It's my first combat skill ever to hit 120. I wasn't even expecting for this to happen. I just went with a bud to ED3 to help him grind some levels on his Iron Man. And I, I ended up hitting 120, which was dope. I'm not sure if all of you guys know this, but I don't pay for membership on this account. Since I've came back to RuneScape, I've never paid for membership. I always 
buy the bonds so I play the game I make my GP I make my character upgrades and I pay for my membership all through bonds so here I'm just showing purchasing three bonds and redeeming the 45 day membership which I do literally every 45 days I have like over 381 runs and I have never noticed this in the beginning of the dungeon. Is this actually an Elder Scrolls reference? Must have been the wind. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that sub button. We're so close to 600 subs. We're almost there. Also, come catch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash MrMellowMan underscore. Around the release of Necromancy, like August 7th or so, I plan on being live as much as possible. So make sure to come follow me over on Twitch. It's always a good time over there. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video. I appreciate you. Peace.